Hey Gemini, welcome back for another reading, okay? So this is going to be a love reading for you guys. We're going to see what's coming towards you in love, okay? So yeah, we're just going to get straight into it. Let me just adjust my camera a little bit. There we go, okay. So let's see, what's coming towards my Gemini's in love, Spirit? What's coming towards, what, what can my Gemini's expect regarding love? What's coming towards my Gemini's in love, spirit? Gemini's in love. Mm. Okay, so we have the five of wands with the moon, okay? So some of you guys can be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or a Pisces, okay? <coughs> Excuse me. Um, yeah, so I feel like you guys, um, I feel like there could be somebody around you or I feel like there's go going to be somebody who's going to try to compete for you. That's what I'm getting here with the five of wands. Like somebody here, it's like they could have their eyes on you, but they feel like you have other people as well that has it, has their eyes on you. Okay. Um, and this person feels like there's too much competition, okay, when it comes to this. Like, this person feels like they have to fight for you. They have to fight for their spot to be able to be with you and fight for their spot so that you can choose them and that they can choose you. No, Like, they're, they're already choosing you, but they just want to be your one and only, okay? And with this Five of Wands card here, it's like this person feels like they have to fight for you. They have to fight you know, between all these other people who has, you know, has eyes on you, Gemini, okay? And because this person does feel like you have options. They do feel like you have other, you know, you have other people who's checking you, checking you out as well, okay? And they don't like that. This person does not like that. They don't want that, okay? They hate that. They hate to see or they hate to think that you do have all these other options, okay? Um, and with the moon card here, I feel like this person... Could even can even be like hiding this from you, keeping this a secret. Like they're they're trying to hide the fact that they don't like that you have comp or like there is competition here. Okay, let's see what else we have for Gemini's in love. What's coming towards Gemini in love? We got the Knight of Swords. Could we deal with another air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius? And we have the Three of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. So, yeah, I feel like um, this person is coming in, Gemini, okay? They want to come take action towards you with this Knight of Swords energy. Because I feel like with the Three of Pentacles, they want to try to, you know, they, they, they've been fighting for you. They've been wanting you. They've been wanting to get your attention, wanting to, you know, grab you. Not in that way, y'all, but they've really just been wanting you, okay? They feel like you have all these other people, and they don't like that. They don't want that, and this person just wants you. They want you and you only. They don't want you with nobody else. This person just wants you to themselves, okay? And with the Knight of Swords here, this person is coming, okay? It's like this person is willing to fight all these other options that's coming your way like they don't like they are literally willing to do anything to have you gemini okay and with the three of pentacles this person they want to work on this <laughs> excuse me y'all this person they want to um they're gonna work to get to you they're gonna work to get your attention okay this person is very determined you know they have this in their minds what they want and they want you and they're gonna come after you okay um I feel like this person does want to talk to you. They want to communicate with you, Gemini. Okay, or they will communicate with you. All right. Um, we also have the Nine of Pentacles here. So I feel like, Gemini, you guys are in this energy of being very independent. Like, I feel like y'all are focusing a lot on yourself. Some of you guys couldn't, you know, probably is not even thinking about love or thinking about being in a relationship right now. Okay. Um. I feel like a lot of you guys are just focusing on you and your money and your career. Um, but this person wants you. This person doesn't want you to be this independent, Gemini. They don't want you to be single. They don't want you to be to yourself. They want you to they want you to be with them. Okay? 
So let's see what else we have for love for you, Gemini. What's coming in love for Gemini? We have judgment, okay, Scorpio energy. We got the five of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Three of swords. Hmm. Wow, Gemini. Okay, I feel like you did, I feel like you guys. I do feel like there was some type of breakup here, okay, in your love life, or you felt like there was like some type of betrayal here in your love life, maybe with someone, okay. It's like you felt like you wasn't getting getting somewhere. Okay. It's like you felt like you wasn't getting anywhere when it comes to your love life. Like I feel like Gemini, a lot of you really wants to settle down, you know, be happy, you know, be in love, okay, find and love your life. But it's like you try to find that and it's like you try to get that out of someone. But it's like it didn't work or it's like it, you just didn't get it. Like it didn't get to that point where you want it to be, you know, you know, get to where you want it in, in a relationship, you know. And it's like things just really crumbled in the in the relationship with you and your person. And it really hurt you. It's what I'm getting. It's like it really, really did hurt you. Um but I and that's why with the nine of pentacles, this could be a reason why Gemini, you guys are focusing on yourself now because you just went through all this pain in the past with this person, and you don't want to go through that pain again. So you're focusing on yourself, okay? But I do feel like with the judgment card, this person Gemini, um, they want to come in. They want to come in for a second chance. I feel like they do want to apologize to you, Gemini. Okay, for what they've done. This person knows that they've hurt you. They know that they left you out in the cold. They know that they've ignored you. They took you for granted. They didn't really give you much. Okay, they breadcrumbed you. Okay, this person knows that they didn't, you know, they wasn't communicating with you like that. They wasn't really talking to you, giving you what you wanted. Okay, like I feel like Gemini, you always gave in with this person. You was always the one putting in the work with this person. You know, always you was the one initiating everything with this person. And this person was barely giving you nothing, anything. Now it's like this person knows that they're realizing that they didn't give you much. And now they're feeling hurt. Now they're feeling sorry for what they've done. And with the judgment card, this is why Gemini, they want to come in with the Knight of Swords with, and the judgment and apologize to you about for this. You know, they know that they've caused a lot of pain in this relationship here, Gemini. And that's why they do want to come in and try to make things work. Okay. I feel like this is something, this is somebody you know. I'm not picking up anybody new, Gemini. This is somebody you know, somebody who you who you were in contact with, who you was in a relationship with. Let's see what else we have for you, Gemini. What's coming towards Gemini in love spirit? Yep, we have the Three of Wands. We have Worlds, okay? I'm getting heavy Scorpio energy. A lot of y'all could be dealing with this Scorpio. Okay, we got the Nine of Cups. And we got the Five of Swords, yeah. So this person played a lot of mind games on you, Gemini. They played a lot of mind games with you. And now, look, they feel sorry. They feel guilty for it. It's like this person knows, Gemini, that they messed up, okay? They know that they've played all these games with you. They know that they've been playing with your mind, playing with your heart, your feelings, you know? And now they feel sorry. Look, with the Ten of Wands at the bottom of the deck, this person is feeling really sorry, Gemini, you know, because now it's like now that you're winning, now it's like you're looking good, you're winning, Okay, you're in your Queen of Wands energy. Okay, some of y'all could be dealing with the Sagittarius as well. But Gemini, y'all are looking really amazing. Okay, it's like even though you were hurt by this person, it's like you're still coming off as very strong out of all throughout all of this. Okay, like <coughs> excuse me, Gemini. Like I feel like you guys are very bold. Like you guys are in your power, and it's like you're coming off as very strong. Okay, you're not coming off as weak you know, to this person, you know, and they're seeing that and they, 
they're like really in shock it's like wow i didn't know gemini was gonna like look like this or gemini was gonna glow up glow up on me like this okay it's like gemini you glowed up on this person okay you look good you're very attractive okay it's like i feel like you changed and you leveled up on this person you know and now it's like this person is so they feel so bad from doing you wrong gemini it's like they know they messed up okay they know they messed up and now it's like with the three of wands this person is waiting they're waiting to um to come towards you waiting to see you waiting to talk to you waiting you know to you know apologize to you gemini okay and with the world's card it's like this person they're wanting to start this new beginning here with you because you know things was things was not where it was supposed to be in the past okay um but now it's like this person wants to start over with you gemini they want to really build a relationship here with you now okay because they are realizing that you make them very happy and you put them in a good space okay this person knows that there's nobody like you you're very special okay and that's why this person wants to come in with the ten of cups and the hair of font for a brand new beginning for a commitment gemini you look very attractive this person is very highly attracted to you gemini okay and i feel like this person is feeling sorry for not seeing you like this before they didn't believe in you like this before okay but now that you leveled up and now that you glowed up now they start they're starting to see your worth now they're starting to see that you are that girl you are that guy you know and they should have never played these games with you at first they should have never ignored you they should have never not texted you back called you back okay this person always left you out in the cold gemini they always was being secretive they've always was you know, you always had a side eye this person. This person was always just doing something to piss you off, to to hurt you, you know. Now this person is, you know, they feel sorry for it. Now they're coming in and now they're going to chase you. Now they're going to come in and try to get your attention and try to get you to, um, you know, to get their attention again, Gemini. Okay, like this is crazy. <laughs> All right, so yeah, Gemini, that's really it for this reading. Um, I hope you enjoyed it, okay? If you did, make sure you give this video a like. Subscribe to my channel if you're new here, and I'll talk to y'all soon. Bye.